Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here. Today I'm bringing you guys the final episode of the Crash of the Titans Jerry Plays series on my channel. It's weird knowing that I finished this game in nine parts on YouTube, but the game is 20 episodes total. I don't know. I figured it'd happen like this because usually when I do a Jerry Plays, I want to get it out the way, but I also want to make it as interesting as possible. But aside from that, uh, yeah, so we're going to finish this game once and for all. Uh, the final boss is not as dick ripping off as much as uh, Uka Uka's was in like two episodes ago. But I have somebody with me, a good friend of mine. You can go ahead and introduce yourself, and I'm pretty much just going to ask you questions as I play through. And yeah. All right. What's up, guys? I'm Cal. Uh, some of you might know me from my channel, Calcom. Uh, <laughs> I never played this game, so this is gonna be interesting, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So me and uh, me and Cal have actually like we've worked together on a couple video yeah. or video before. So like, uh, you might have seen his name floating around here and there. But enough with that. Uh, I'm gonna get into the game, and as I'm playing, I, th I think I think there's a cutscene in here actually. So let me just be quiet real fast. I think. <laughs> Episode 20. Oh shit. Oh yeah, okay. There's no cutscene. Uh I think this <laughs> level is actually very similar to uh Donkey Kong, like the do 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 fucking Donkey Kong. Like I think the level structure when you're going up is very similar. I think that's what it's inspired off of. But uh pretty much this is like the, the simplest level in the entire game. Uh we just go up and then we go straight forward and then we'll be at the final boss. And we'll uh, fight Nina. And if you didn't know that for whatever reason, well, I mean, well, yeah, she's like the main villain of this game, in case you didn't couldn't tell already. But uh, yo, so, uh, how did you, so Cal, how did you get introduced to introduced to this series, and what are your thoughts on like, like, how people, how most people feel about this, uh, the mutant era of Crash Bandicoot, based on what you observed, based on what you've observed, because I know you didn't play these. All right, so how I got introduced, we got to go back a long time. We got to right. go back to the PS1 days. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, early 2000s. I mean, I wasn't alive in 1995, so I wasn't yeah. there for the launch of the console. But I, I played it a lot as a kid, and. My first exposure to Crash was actually on one of the demo discs. I'm pretty sure it was PlayStation Underground. Oh shit, yeah. And uh, Crash 2, it was Snow Go. Mm -hmm. And I, I always played that, and I played uh, it was a game called Intelligence Cube. I always sucked at it. Yeah, I never but that doesn't that. matter, that's besides the point. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, that's the first time I ever played Crash, and I thought it was just the sickest, <laughs> coolest thing ever. Like. Oh no, everything stuck with me. The music, the enemy designs, just how the game played. Mm -hmm. And I always thought it was cool. So, you know, a few years later, they go by, and I got the Wrath of Cortex. Oh, God. <laughs> that was the first Ooh, Crash game <laughs> I'd ever played legitimately. Yeah. And even as a kid, I thought it kind of sucked. And then, you know, I played Twin Sanity and Tag Team Racing. And yeah. then uh, a few years later, I got Crash 1 and 2. Actually, no, let me go back. Uh, my brother had a PSP, so I got Crash 3. Oh, I, thought it was, I thought it was Crash 2. So I was oh, like, oh, cool is the game. No, it was Crash 3. I liked mm -hmm. it, though. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I got a PS3. He got one. And then I got the games on him. And then now I have my own PS3. It's like, okay, cool. Now I can just play it whenever. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my that was my exposure. Um, The second question, how, like, just the reaction to people's reaction, I guess, to... Yeah like the titan series i mean a lot of them a lot of it comes from i guess people expecting a character to stay as a constant thing you know what i'm saying they don't like yeah. when something is tweaked the slightest and i i was definitely one of them because you know when i was a kid i knew crash from you know wrath of cortex twin sanity all that and i'd gotten accustomed to the image of the character Right. And, you know, nine-year-old, whenever the game came out, I'm probably, I was probably like nine or ten. Yeah, ten years When old. I was younger, it, it pissed me off. I was like, what the hell? Like, what are they doing to Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> yeah. Um, but now that I've gotten older, and I've, and I, I realized it was nostalgia back then. Like, that mm -hmm. was the thing. Like, I couldn't accept something that was different. Yeah, yeah. 
But now that I've learned to look past that and appreciate things for the hard work put into them and the dedication and like knowing that there was a team doing like just putting hours into something. It, it's hard yeah. for me to be like, oh, well, this sucks because it looks different. Now I appreciate it. Okay. And it, it's it's funny when people still get mad about it. It's like it's it's just a it's just a game like it's yeah. it's not the same. But yeah, from what I hear, it's good. Like. <laughs> You know? Repetitively speaking, the gameplay, like, it's designed to be repetitive, and some people may not like that. Some people may seem that see that as the game hindering itself from, like, what Crash Bandicoot's mainly doing, which I will say the game is still a platformer at heart. It's just, yeah, it, it just has, I mentioned this in, like, one of the earlier parts of this series. It just has beat em up elements in between. Mm -hmm. And Modern Remuting, it actually brings back digging from Crash Bandicoot 2. So it doesn't completely abandon what a lot of people like to say this game strayed away from what made Crash, well, iconic when he can still do the things that made him iconic. So it kind of makes you look a little uh, contradictive. Oh, fuck, my Scorporilla's dead. <laughs> Not the Scorporilla. Yeah, there's another one ahead, but that's like three battlers in my fucking face. But yeah, I get you. It's it's it is very contradictory, you know? Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah. Alright, hold on. I need to- Oh my god, this goddamn thing <laughs> nearly killed my fucking battler, but I got on another one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, in terms of like, uh, if you actually look up like review- not reviews, but uh, what do you call it? Fucking- OH SHIT! That was close. Um, <laughs> that was a weird trait, it's like Smash. Um, if you look up like the Kirsten Forb, uh, yeah, the, the interviews, not reviews, the interviews of this game, of the team, like they had, like around, even around the, the, the mutant era of Crash Bandicoot, they had, whatchamacallit, uh, they still had the guy in a the suit, they had commercials oh, yeah. and everything, and a lot of people, I, I was watching this video, I paused the game for this, because I think this is pretty important, uh, I was watching a video on Rate That Character, and it's pretty much a, a, a channel on YouTube that pretty much rates a character's percentage or chances of getting into Super Smash Brothers Ultimate <laughs> and Crash Bandicoot was the character so I'm watching like the first 40 seconds maybe 20 25 30 seconds of the video and this dude mentions that Crash of the Titans was a flop and I it paused well. it it sold better than Twin Sanity and that game was released <laughs> yeah. in Japan Titans and Modern Mew were never released in Japan so it's like dude if you're oh, calling man. a game a flop just because of fan reception based on something that's really not important I don't know what to tell you man like the game sold really well if you're including every single port of the games yeah. these games were on the Game Boy the DS the PS2 the Xbox mm -hmm. 360 and the Wii like it, they did very well easily but, the widely released Crash games like oh. the most you know oh yeah it's for crazy. sure yeah but yo we're at the final boss right up ahead I told y'all it wasn't oh, gonna shit. take that long so we're gonna walk through this room and a cutscene will play so now let's go. Scorporilla walks really funny, but I like that. <laughs> Scorporilla? Yeah. All right, here we go. Crash? Get out of my robot! This is my body and my right to choose! Oh, you're going to get some punchy punch now! Crash, come over here and take out this terrible excuse for a niece. That's right, Crash! Rip her butt, and then we'll get pancakes with cherry topping! Yahoo! <laughs> you keep this robot on course for Wumpa Island. Yes, Nina. You just shut up, because you're annoying. And stop talking about pancakes! And as for you, I really didn't want to do this myself. I really wanted one of my idiot underlings to destroy you. I really didn't want to get hair all over my clothes. But if you want something done right, use a giant spider body. Okay, I don't know who the hell voices Nina, but holy shit. <laughs> Yo, when I look at... Twin Sanity Nina, because that was like her ma most major role. I don't count Crash yeah. Purple as like her fucking major role. Or whatever. That's when she was introduced, <laughs> sure, but she had a big role in uh, Twin Sanity, or well, this game, I should say. When you look at Nina from that game, and you look at Nina in this fucking game, that's a huge fucking jump. Like, she went from, yeah. I guess, a side character to being one of the main, like, like villains of the yeah. series, which I found, which I find what really fucking cool. Yeah, dude, it's a Oh shit, yeah dude, it's a big jump. 
and just like it's weird because in twins oh shit in twin sanity she was treated like a little princess from cortex but in this game she's treating <laughs> cortex like shit like she's taking over my daughter but, uh, niece <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's it's weird. It's really weird. And like when this cutscene was playing, there was a part in the fucking oh my god, this is gonna take a while. There was oh shit, my Scorpirilla's dead. I'm Fuck. Gonna say your Scorpirilla. <laughs> yeah, my Scorpirilla's fucking gone, bruh. And three battlers are trying to beat my ass, but uh, yeah. So this cuts in this cutscene, uh, when <laughs> when Crash, <laughs> when Crash and Aku Aku showed up. <laughs> Uh, Nina said, uh, get out of my robot. This is my body and my right to choose. I think that was poking fun at, like, like at the time, uh, girls that, like, like did whatever with their fucking bodies or some shit. I think it was a joke. <laughs> because this is really Cortex's robot. So after she said that, uh, Cortex was like, oh, you're really going to get some punchy punch now or whatever. Oh, and shit. Jesus Christ. The ending. Use. Yeah, that, that, oh, my God. Just wait till you see, like, the ending cutscene when the episode grows up. It's like... What oh yeah I, I know it gets really weird yeah it gets real weird only for like one portion though people think the most ear grating uh terrible thing is like um crash bandicoot saying pancakes or whatever i mean oh uh, yeah pancakes yeah like and then everyone just stares at him like what the fuck is that? yeah i feel like the game was low-key ahead of its time because well how should i say this um Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Fuck! Bruh, I'm so close to getting this stupid fucking spider bot thing. I didn't think it'd be this annoying, <laughs> but it is. spider bot? Yeah, that's the machine that she's using. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm finna have to do some editing because uh, this is gonna take some time. Because <laughs> we really need the Scorporella, because the weakest Titan in here is the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the Battler, which is the Bat Titan. The second strongest is the Scorpirilla, but the strongest is the, well, what Nina's using, the fucking spider bot. And we need the spider bot to uh, destroy these damn uh, gears that operates these machines and shit. And then we'll be at the end of the blah, blah, blah. Then we'll be at the end of the game. Nice. Uh, problem is, though, when you block this bitch's attacks, you get pushed back. <laughs> So you gotta walk back. You gotta walk back up near her to attack her. So it's it feels like almost a chore to destroy this hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying, bro. All right, boom, boom. Did she just say God? You're lame. It feels a little weird hearing God in Crash Bandicoot. But I digress. That's whatever. All right, now we kind of locked her in these frames of animation where she can't attack us. So we should be good. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Alright, there we go. Alright, we got her. It's funny as shit. He like stomps on her head. And then takes control oh, of the fucking uh, machine. Just gives her a concussion. Yeah. I wouldn't rather say... I wouldn't say like... Uh, I wouldn't say stomp. I mean, I guess he kind of does in the animation. I don't know. Because the animations <laughs> are very expressive. What he really does is like put her down so he can take control of the machine okay we lost control now and we gotta destroy two more fucking blades damn and then we the cycle should starts over yeah oh shit now the rhino rollers are here they're pretty much these uh like armadillo titans rhino these guys are good yeah they're pretty good if you look up like all the concept art for every titan they they all look fucking great i love it There are people in the world that actually think that this game is uh, not canon. Really? But you know what I find interesting out of everything? Uh, like, when you play Twin Sanity and look at Crash's model, right? You'll see that his gloves are, like, loosely coming off. Uh -huh. And then when you look at Titans, they're off. So it's like... Yeah. I feel like at some point... Um, I feel like there are devs... I feel like developers know, like, what's ahead of the uh series like they know what's gonna happen in the future so it makes complete sense to me oh shit fuck 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 fuck, fuck. <laughs> i lost a goddamn scorporilla again how many, rather it died how many scorporillas have you lost i probably say i lost it about four times so far oh, my God. Oh, i got a ride on roller skin sweet but yeah there are people that don't think that 
this game is canon, which is so weird. Why? Because the, the redesigns are a little different. <laughs> yeah, it's the redesigns. They people put like it's because of the redesigns. People get like this false ideology that like the game is a complete reboot. I thought it was a reboot at one point too, but it's not. It's a sequel. Yeah. So I don't know. Shit just does not add up at all. It's like saying Sly Four isn't canon because Sly got redesigned. Yo, there's a lot of people that don't even like Sly 4, which kind of surprises me because, I mean, I person, not because I personally enjoyed it, but I didn't think it strayed away from what made Sly Cooper Sly Cooper. I mean, yeah, I, I from what I've played, I like it. Yeah. I know my friend Ke Kevin, he kind of despises it because he feels like the character is kind of ruined. He's made more into this comic relief joking type of nigga instead of this serious, oh, I'm going to avenge my ancestors type guy. Like it used to be in the old games. I mean, it makes sense. I can see why he thinks that. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Okay. Ah oh, shit! Oh my god, I hate this shit. This is. I gotta <laughs> say, I gotta say this now, bro. Uka Uka and Nina's boss fights are the most <sighs> laziest, weirdest. Just they're not that well designed, bro. Because. Like, I don't know how the fuck... Okay, we, we got her a second time. But still, how the fuck do they expect me to get forward whenever, like... And when she does... A, but when she does attack me, like, I get pushed back. Yeah, that's cheap. <laughs> and it, it doesn't make it any better that, like... And I'm playing this shit on normal difficulty. When you jack... When you eventually jack uh, Nina's, like, Titan machine thing, um, more Titans fucking pop up to interrupt your progress. So, like... <laughs> It's a real bitch to try to, like, get to her. Yeah. The only good thing I see out of this, though, is that... Or the thing that's, that doesn't make this boss too uh, bad, I can't say less enjoyable, because this boss really isn't all that enjoyable. just want to kind of beat her ass already. But um, the thing that makes this less aggravating is that when you do die, uh, your progress is still there. So if you still got one machine to destroy after you destroy two, but you die from Nina's dumbass... Uh, you should be good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm trying to get this fucking Scorporilla. Okay, got it. Now, we just gotta hit Nina one more time a few times. And we should be good. Nice. But yo, do you do you ever plan on uh, trying these out? At um, least Titans. Alright, so. Here's a funny story. I bought Titans, like, a few months ago. When I got, like, a big lot of games. Oh, shit. For some reason, though, it was broken. <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> so I was like, well, then, maybe it's just not meant to happen. Another time. Um, also, another time. I mean, I probably should have bought it for Xbox. I tried. I bought it for PS2. I probably should have just went with Xbox. Yeah, but... the 360 version is probably the best version. The Wii version? Like, the game? I'll say this now. Titans was primarily made for the Wii because it was new hardware at the time, like 2006, 2007. And Titans was released around that time, so it was primarily made for the Wii. If they really wanted to, bruh, they could have made this shit a Wii exclusive. It would have been weird, yeah. granted, but, you know, they didn't. Um, but, yo, we're on the, uh, we're on the, whatchamacallit, this bitch's spider bot, and we destroyed the last machine. So, a cutscene's about to play, and, oh, shit. yeah, we're done. Very nice. Oh, gross. Get a room. No, I'm annoying. But now we have to stop the Doominator before it destroys Wumpa Island. You simpletons. The Doominator cannot be disabled so easily. Well, I could do it in seconds if I had my trans palooper. The purple thingy. That's it. That's fantastic, Crash. How long have you had that in your pants? Ugh. Oh no! Why did you rescue me? I betrayed you, took over your evil plan, and then failed. Oh, Nina! 
Betraying me is the most vile, evil thing you could have ever done. You were a skank. I'm just so proud of you right now. Hooray! I promise, from now on, I'll be more evil, more villainous, more horrible! Horrible! Oh, and go kill bandicoots, too. I'm still going to spank you stupid for this. Oh. Finally. Let's check the damage. Maybe we can go looting. Hi, everybody. What the fudge happened out here? Give me a hug. Ew, you smell mm. like bacon. Our house is okay. Yahoo! Oh, that's a relief. All our stuff was in there. Oh, Wumpa Island. But our stuff's okay. Now let's go home and eat pancakes. Pancakes! Alright, well that cutscene's over. Now let me say something <laughs> about that fucking cutscene, dude. I'm not <laughs> mad about I'm not mad at the fact that Crash said pancakes at the end, or the fact that Cortex said uh he, he said that Nina was a skank and he was gonna spank her stupid for what she did to her. Oh 72% of the game. That's not that's not too bad actually. But um no no no. Let's we're gonna go all the way back to episode uh actually no, I'm not even gonna play no episode. I'm just gonna look at concept art while we talk. Uh <laughs> Like, bruh, I'm mad because, mind you, Crunch was stuck in ice in the beginning of the game, throughout the entire game, but, like, at the end, he breaks out like it's nothing. It's like, dude, what were you doing this entire time? Were you, like, were you, like, trying to break free of it the entire time? Why did it take until the Dominator to fall on up an island for you to break out? I don't know, it just doesn't... Yeah, that's an inconsistency for sure. Yeah, that shit bothered the hell out of me. Um, oh, ooh. fuck, dude. Yo, when you see this concept art, this, oh my god. Oh, and I'm gonna say this too. You know, I didn't say this years ago in my uh, rant about stupid fans, quote unquote, uh, for Crash Bandicoot, but I low key feel like, I, I, I sometimes I think that the last best Crash game is this instead of Twin Sanity. Hmm. Shitty. Even Mind Over Mutant. Like, I think my, my like my favorite Crash Bandicoot game is most definitely uh, Entranced on the Game Boy Advance. The best in the series, I feel, is 2, Cortex Strikes Back. It's uh, a good one, yeah. The best story, I feel, is Twin Sanities. Even though it was rushed, I feel as though it was Twin Sanities. Uh, but the most interesting one, I feel, is this one, personally. That's just me though. Uh, the 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 second best, uh, the second last best, I guess, would probably be a sequel because the ending I found pretty satisfying, even though we were gonna get something else after that. But yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think? What do you, what do you personally think they should do with the new uh, Crash Bandicoot title? I don't even know, man. You it's like know. it's like where do you, where do you even start? Like, <laughs> I mean. I, <laughs> You have people clamoring for remakes upon remakes upon remakes. It's like remakes should only be done for one purpose, to, to breathe life back into the series, all right? And they already did that. Insane yes. was successful. So where do they go? They need to go one step forward, all right? They need to add to what works. Exactly. They need to refine and improve and do all that stuff. Yeah, and I honestly feel like um, there's a lot of resources to be considered too. Because if you remake something from the ground up, it's not going to be the same as how it was on the original. That's why ports exist. Yeah. And remasters, like, the, just look at the Tide of Many and Tiger series, for example, on Steam. Like, that's a perfect example of bringing back a game, but refining it and tweaking it. If Traveler's mm -hmm. Tales, where they had to have the same files and shit of the cut content that was into Insanity, I mean, yeah, sure, when it comes back with everything back in it's not going to be to insanity yeah it's going to be like a new game but it's still going to be i don't know it's going to be crash bandicoot evolution rather mm -hmm. i don't know it's, it's it's a little complicated with twin sanity that's why people just i think they should just leave that fucking game in the past um with ctr though it's like yo we already got cnk which is already like a reskin of ctr in the first place and if the same company that made cnk made a ctr remaster and it's not the same 
Well, it's going to be not only an insane trilogy situation all over again, but it's also going to be a CNK situation over again where the game tries too hard to be like Crash Team Racing, but it can't be because yeah. of the flawed problems or, you know, <laughs> flaws that it has. So stop remaking things. Just move forward. Please, bro. Please. Jesus. <laughs> like, we yeah. don't need Spyro A Hero's Tale to be remade. Or I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I wasn't even gonna mention that because yeah. it's like, it's, like yeah. it's not worth it. Like, it's, not, dude. Like, it's just, it's just a disgrace. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, it's stupid. Um, you have anything you want to say before I end it off? Because I've just been looking at concept art this far, and yeah. I'm enjoying what I'm looking at. But any yeah. anything before you end it off? Anything. Anything. Yeah, man put me on the spot like I, i'm actually i'm trying to think of something um i just i just hope whatever we gets good whether it's spyro or crash or any other you know yeah. series that most comes definitely. out of the woodwork most definitely and yeah yo one thing i'm gonna say is i'm hoping i'm hoping my son i'm hoping my boy is in the uh, ultimate <laughs> Smash I, Ultimate. Is it that I hope right? Rayman's in it. Rayman, <laughs> C- Rayman, Crash, Shantae, Gino, and King K. Rool. I like Spyro. No Spyro. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> no Waluigi. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah, Bomberman's in it as an assist trophy. I mean, even though he's an assist, I'm still like happy he's in Smash Brothers. Period. Yeah. It's like that was that's fucking awesome to me. Didn't didn't Little Max start out as an assist trophy? Assist trophy, yeah, he did. Yeah, there's hope for Bomberman. Yeah, and even for, <laughs> even for Crystal from uh, even Fox. for not Wario. Oh shit, Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could definitely happen. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. I'm gonna end this off now. Um, it's been fun playing Crash of the Titans on my channel. It was very fun. Um, I hope those that did watch it enjoyed this uh, kind of quick journey. Um, it's been fun, but this is where it ends. I do not know when I'm gonna be doing another Jerry Place, as things are uh, thing things. Uh, it'll be a while for another Jerry Place to come. I only did this because, well, I did one on Insane last year, and it's been eight years since I've done a Jerry Place, and I didn't want to bring back Insane on PC because, well. It uses up all my RAM, and it's kind of problematic with OBS, so it's kind of a bitch to record. So that's why I wanted to do Titans instead, because it was another idea that I had in mind for this month. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, plus, I wanted to do something a little different regardless, so... Yeah. Oh, the fucking AMV video thing came on when you, like, stay on the title screen for too long. At the end, he does the crash <laughs> dance, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is pretty much a montage of, like, the gameplay and shit like that, which is really cool. Um, and in case you didn't know, uh, Crash of the Titans is a parody of Clash of the Titans the movie, and Cortex Strikes Back is a parody of uh, Empire Strikes Back from Star Wars, so Crash Bandicoot always did uh, pop culture references and shit, so don't act like this game is uh, subject to doing it in the worst way possible or whatever, because Crash Bandicoot was always doing it, so Radical definitely knew what they were doing, and uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't shit on them, plus they're dead, respect the dead. Um, yep. they, they were as creative as they were with this game as well as its successor, uh, Mono Remutant. But yeah, the game's about to end. The crash is about to finish the crash dance, so that's when it's going to end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.